I came up with like a couple of Christmas douchey songs. You want to hear them? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Well, the weather outside is shitty. I want to suck on all of your titties. Before you get creeped out and go, let me blow, let me blow, let me blow. Still don't believe I'm a douche? I think I have an STD. <laughs> what did this bitch get to me? Syphilis or gonorrhea? <laughs> oh, it burns when I be. Oh, it burns when I be. Thank you. Total douche. It's, like, it's hard being a douche too when you open a gift that you don't want at Christmas and you're like, you're like, fuck, so disappointed. I'm like, Jason stays and like, why did you get me that? <laughs> or Jerry Seinfeld. I'm telling you, what makes you think that I would want violin lessons? What a terrible, terrible gift. I've never played an incident in my life. Ray Romano? Like, I don't want it! Just take it back! The more! The fuck were you thinking? I gotta think more like fucking Jimmy Fallon. I think that guy could get anything and be happy with it, man. He can get anything, right? Like, oh my god, this is the greatest gift in the history of gifts. I, I want violin lessons. This is amazing. Oh my god. And it's on VHS. VHS, man. I'll tell you what, I can't, I can't bullshit. I get this from my dad. My dad has three different ways of reacting to gifts. It doesn't matter if it's Father's Day, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas, he said, uh, it doesn't matter. Three reactions. The first one, if he likes it, it's beauty. <laughs> Second reaction, if he really likes it, it's la bamba. <laughs> and third reaction, it's the one I usually get, is oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Hey Matt, you got the receipt? Yeah, Dad, I got the receipt. Oh, no. Yeah, that's okay. It's all right. Last year, I got the oi, 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 oi. I did a tally with my brother and sister, and they're, you know, they're pretty well off. They're, they're giving like $500 gifts here, and I'm like practical. I'm like, he just had surgery, so he gets weed now. So I'm like, I bought him a water bong, and he's like, oi, oi, oi. I'm like, it's like, okay, all right. And then I got him, this is kind of practical. It's called a Hello Tushy. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a portable bidet. Washes your ass. He literally opened it up and went, oi, oi. I'm like, Dad, okay, I know you're not going to like it. But it's a portable bidet. And he's like, what, you don't think I can wipe my ass? I said, no, no, I think you're, you'll be fine. But you know you know what, I, I'll take it back, but you know Howard Stern has one. He's like, what? I said, Howard Stern has one. He's like, well, hold on, I'll hold on with <laughs> Loves Howard Stern, that's why I'm gonna give him socks this year. And I'm like, Howard Stern has the same one. Oh, okay, beauty, beauty, yeah, right. Yeah, man, I, I don't know, I love my dad, but sometimes he's fucked up. I love him to death, but like, he, he used to embarrass the shit out of me, man. Like, I did, when I first started dating my life, and I was living at home, and I'd be like, you know, we'd have a long distance relationship. I'm from Bronx, and she's from London. So whenever we see each other, we're like, we gotta get it on, right? So I'm living in the basement, and we're just getting it on. And I don't hear, I don't hear anything, and then all of a sudden I hear footsteps upstairs, and I'm like, oh shit, okay, honey, I gotta be quiet, I gotta be quiet, I gotta be quiet. <laughs> Next thing you know, I hear the door open. My dad starts whistling at me, flickering the lights. <laughs> hey, Matt, whenever you're done your honeymoon, pal, we got dishes to do. I'm like, Next time. Next time, I appreciate it. Real nice. <laughs> I was, again, I was living in the basement. And this is another time. My mom wasn't home or anything. And I'm like, I'm downstairs. And I hear fucking scuffling going on. I'm like, what the fuck's going on upstairs? I come upstairs. My dad's fucking fucking with all the dishes and putting the dishwasher. I'm like, what's going on? He goes, the dishwasher's fucked. I'm like, well, what are you doing? I'm trying to sleep. He's like, I'm unfucking it. <laughs> Genius. You're unfucking your problem. If, guys, if you ever have a problem in life, just unfuck it. <laughs> Look, Dr. Phil will have that next book on audiobooks. We call it, okay, welcome back to Dr. Phil's audiobook on how to unfuck your life. <laughs> right. I got some funny fucking people in my life. Um, my grandma, she's 91 years old. 
And we call her Rocket. She is literally, she's she's an inspiration to me, but she, she has a different concept of life. She just likes fucking with people. And I love it. I, I discovered this when I was 10 years old. We went to Denninger's and we're in line and the girl behind the counter is like 20 years old and my grandma's going there. She's like, have a nice day, ma'am. And my grandma, without missing a beat, goes, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> the girl's face is like this. I'm like, grandma, what are you doing? She's like, at least I'm not dull. I'm like, what do you mean? What does that fucking mean you're not dull? She goes, Matthew, I'm gonna teach you something. I'm like, what? She goes, when that girl goes home every day, her, her mom says, listen, how was your day? She said, fine. Anything interesting happened? No. I'm that interesting thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking true. It's true. She, she fucked with me too. She, this is a, it's a good story, but she recently, she just, she had surgery because she had cancer. And I waited for her, I mean, me and my grandpa were waiting in the, in the, in the recovery. And she just finished, she came out, it was okay, and she woke up, I'm like, Grandma, Grandma, how are you? She's like, who are you? I'm like, I'm Matthew, I'm your grandson. She goes, who? And I'm like, Grandpa! She's like, you should have thought your face. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, oh. I'm like, Grandma, how do you feel? She goes, with my hands, what do you think I'm doing? Like? Sharp as a razor. She fucked with me at my wedding. There was 120 people there, and I want you to picture this. I sang a song to my wife after my speech as Louis Armstrong. I memorized the song, I memorized the voice. There's like 120 people sitting up, and it's me, and my grandma's sitting right over there with her chair facing the other way. People are crying, and I'm like, Am I fit to myself? What a wonderful world. People are like, oh my God! She kicks the back of her fucking chair. She turns up. She walks up to me like, Grandma, what did you think? She's like, come here. I'm like, what's up? She goes, first of all, you sang way too close to the microphone. <laughs> Louie doesn't do that, okay? He's more of a crooner. I'm like, thanks, Grandma. You go fuck yourself. Okay, bye. <laughs> I discovered, you know what? It's true. I mean, life gets fucking boring, right? You got to make shit interesting. So I adapted this to my own life. Now, I'm a construction worker during the day. And I'm like, you know, I just started this new job. And I'm tired of being the same old, oh yeah, right on, boys, yeah. Oh yeah, I tried to get fucked last night, but the wife shut me down, you know? So I fucked him off at the end of the game, beat off, went to bed down here, right? So, I'm, that guy can relate. I'm like, okay, I gotta change that, I gotta do something. So I like to fuck with people. My first day on the job, 6 a.m., there's like a fucking 20 dudes. And I don't know if you know construction workers, but they're hard motherfuckers. There's some guys that are like, you know, bikers. You got all different ethnicities, different races and all this shit. So I'm like, okay, here we go. 20 people up there. I get my lunchbox. I stand on top of it like a stage. I'm like, attention. Attention. Hi guys. My name is Mateo. And it is my first day today. Um, my nickname is Gillette because I am the best a man can get. Hello. <laughs> that's right, that's right. A little backstory, um, I hate rain, love puddles. <laughs> just in case you see me frolicking around in puddles, the best to just let me finish. <laughs> Leave me alone. And then the guy's face is like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and that's why I'm just like, I'm like, excuse me, sir. I'm like, ooh, look at your hammer. <laughs> Hi there, Thor. Can I touch your hammer? I bet you can swing that. I'm gonna say that. Um, yeah, I bet you can. Oops, you just scrapped a screw. Let me pick that up for you. Here, do you want a screw? No, you don't want the screw? No. Do you want the screw? No, you don't want the screw? No, you want the screw? Oh, you know what? I'll just put it down here. Just get someone want the screw later. You know what? Oh my god. I am so sorry, guys. You know what? I am terribly late today. That's why my GPS unit, it told me to go straight. And I'm like, fuck you, technology. You are not my parents. You go to hell. Thank you very much for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas.